We are at St. Jur Church, which is exactly where I was at yesterday. I left off, but I managed to pick up my mother this time, and we came back. And instead of documenting the journey up here, there's no point. We just, you know, figure I'd start where I left off yesterday. Check this out. So there's a church here. I don't know why anyone would want to climb all the way up here just to go to church. You should see the path over there. But check this out. There's stairs. They go all the way up. I'm about to go check that out right now, and I'll bring you with me, but I also wanted to show you there's a guy over here rock climbing. Oh, he's on his way down. But there's a guy over here rock climbing. They have hooks all the way up to the top, all over the face of that cliff, actually. There's a lot of hooks. It must be some kind of like practice ground. All right, let's go check out what's up all these stairs over here. Like nothing that way. This is unfortunately as high as you're gonna get. And now we're gonna head back down this mountain and see what else there is to offer here. I hear there's an aquarium, which I'd like to check out. Maybe they're open, maybe they're not. There are some beaches. Man, I wish I would have brought my bathing suit because as cold as these waters are, I am so tempted to just jump in. It is a hot one. I want to go there and go swimming. And I want to rent a jet ski. Well, that's another day because we didn't bring anything there, so. They just close. They'll dry. We decided to get off the road because frankly I'm tired of being on the road. It's boring. When we're in this national park full of so much beauty and wonder, I just, I have to explore this. So we found like this little sneaky trail. Kind of like the one I seen yesterday. But here's the thing. The one from yesterday is way over there. Like the trail actually ends into another road. Well, this road actually. But it's so far away, it may as well be another road. But this, this looks like the same kind of the trail. It's got the uh, non-reinforced stacked rock walls up here. Anyways, we're gonna check it out as soon as mom gets her butt up here. Come on, woman! Whoa. Now here's the trail. See how this one goes up? This goes up to that lookout tower that we saw earlier. Right. And then it goes back down to that road. This road over here. Right. Serpentines and comes around and crosses it. And then across the road, the path picks up and goes back up the hill to where that flag was at the top. This goes downhill. Oh. I'm totally down the downhill. Let's do the downhill. We've done enough uphill today. So we're going to do some down. You down with some down? I'm down with some down. You know you're an American when you're cussing a country because it's full of stairs. <laughs> you should have heard her. She was just cutting up. What the fuck is wrong with these people? What is up with them and all their fucking stairs? Escalators, please. I want your skates. <laughs> we sat and talked to that girl for probably a little too long, but she was really nice, a medical student, apparently. In Croatia, they have free college, free university. That's pretty amazing. I love that. We have since made it down the mountain and we're now by the sea again. Ah, because I wanted to test out a theory that someone told me yesterday. The water is actually warmer on this side. For some reason, this is the northern side of Split. That water is definitely warmer than on the, no. Southern side? No, this is the northern side, yeah. The water on the northern side is definitely warmer than the water on the southern side for whatever reason. And check this out, there are like no waves. 
like none. It's just, I mean, other than like little ripples, there are no waves. That's crazy. All right, we're gonna walk along this path. This place is just lovely. I would absolutely consider retiring here. They've got a little bit of everything. They have all four seasons. That's spring, summer, winter, and fall. Not necessarily in that order. They uh, have just about every type of climate. They have a desert, they have meadows, they have mountains, they have sandy beaches, they have rock beaches, so they've got the tropics. Like, it's great. I've lost my mother. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I have no idea where we're going, by the way. Not a clue. Where are you going? If you fall in the water, I am not coming to get you. I'm trying to step on nails so I can get tetanus and go to the hospital. There we go. That's better. Uh, I scared the fishies away. No, there they are. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Look at them. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but they are over there. Oh, dude, are those kayaks we could rent? Yeah. We should totally like hijack a kayak and then drive it back to Podstrana. We found a little restaurant right here. There's a park. There's like kids jumping on tons of trampolines over there. Uh, anyways, we decided to stop for a beer. Oh, I'm in the shade. There we go. Can you see my lovely face now? We decided to stop for a beer and of course I go for the dark side because I love dark beers and I asked him, I said, hey, what kind of dark beer do you have? They only had one, Budweiser. I didn't even know Budweiser made a dark beer. Like, what? Seriously? So we'll see what he brings me, but uh, look, here we go. Pictureception. Here, I'll video you taking a picture of me. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. I will have the ham and cheese pizza without the mushrooms, please. Okay, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, so here's the are we Budweiser. Nothing else on it? Like no peppers, no nothing, no. It's just like ham and cheese or whatever. You're, you're you're ruining my groove here, man. All right, whatever. I was digging. This Look, one. they're even laughing. Well, all you're getting is ham and cheese. I wanted some peppers, some onions, you know, a half and half, some mushrooms, something. Okay, back to what I was saying now. Check it out. So here's the Budweiser beer. It's actually the Czech Republic Budweiser. Not the same. I don't think this is at a this is a Czech brewery. I don't think this is Anheuser-Busch. This is completely different. Can can you stop? I'm trying to look here. Yeah, no, this isn't this isn't Anheuser-Busch. This is a different uh, different Budweiser. I actually haven't tasted this beer yet, and it's from Czech. I uh I've seen their brewery and their signs all over the place, but I just I haven't. I'm just gonna go ahead and check. Just one pizza, mixed pizza with ham and cheese, and uh, without onions. Are they big oh, or are they good. little? Uh, that is really, really good. Great. Uh, Why don't we get like a big one? Can we put pizza. half of it and like put yes. some mushrooms and onions and peppers and stuff on it for uh, me? I must check if we have some pepper, onions, and thing. Or mushrooms yeah. or mushrooms, something. We have mushrooms. He don't like mushrooms. Okay. I like mushrooms. I can give you the pizza just showed up, and I don't know what the hell my mom was thinking, but she ordered the uh, army-sized variety. This thing is look at this. This thing is massive. What are we supposed to do with this? All right, I'd like to talk for a brief moment while I actually have a little bit of sun because there is none in this park. There's so much shade that the lighting is bad. Anyways, long story short, I kind of wanted to go on a small little rant. One of the things that I've noticed that I've encountered personally while I've been in Europe, just about everywhere I've been in Europe, if a place doesn't accept credit cards or their credit or debit machine is down, they don't notify you. And that's just so weird and foreign to me like why would they do? I don't understand I mean, that that's like a regular thing anytime I've gone to a restaurant in America if their debit machine is down they warn you but anywhere I've gone here that's always been a problem they don't tell me so I don't usually think about it to ask and I usually carry cash for that exact reason I almost always make sure I've got cash on me just in case something like that happens now the sun decides to come out but in this particular instance, I don't have any Kuna left, so we couldn't pay for the bill. So now we've got to go out of our way to go to an ATM and come back and pay the check. It's just, it's just annoying and frustrating. Usually it's not that big of a deal 
because typically there's an ATM close by or a bank of mat or whatever you want to call them. So we can, you know, just run over there, grab some cash and then come pay the check or whatever. But right here, we're in the middle of this gigantic park <laughs> and there's the nearest ATM is like a 40 minute walk away. So uh, whatever. The uh, establishment is going to allow us to come back tomorrow and pay it. So we'll probably do that. Maybe come back to the park tomorrow, rent some bikes or a kayak or something and, and have a good day. It's just, ah. If you run a business in Europe, please warn your customers if you don't accept credit or debit cards or, or, if, your machine, or if your machine is broke. 